what's going on guys as you can see from the title located somewhere near the top of the screen here this is going to be the unboxing and installation of not only one but two Corsair Force GT SATA 3 solid state discs these are going to be in a RAID array which basically means well I'm going to do a RAID 0 not like a RAID 1 or anything basically which means that the, these um, read and write speeds down here you can see reads of 555 megabytes per second and write of 515 megabytes per second the, the hard, the, we're going to make it so the computer basically sees these as one big hard drive so but basically what it's going to do is it's going to write half of each file to this drive and the other half to this drive theoretically doubling these um, these speeds here so once these are all installed and everything is good to go we should be getting speeds of about one gigabyte per second transfer speeds pretty much read and write if we get these maximum uh, theoretical uh, speeds here so like I said this is going to be in a RAID 0 array and these are actually going to be going in my clients machine uh, the same machine that I did my live Hackintosh from start to finish build you can watch that video by clicking right here if you have about uh, two and a half hours or so of time or you want to learn how to build a computer that's the video for you so I'm going to go ahead and just dive right into the unboxing here so first thing to go is this little sticker up here the sticky circle of death as some of you may recall from one of my earlier videos Honestly, I don't even remember uh, which video that was nowadays, but it was a while ago. But anyway, here we have the solid state drive itself. And on the back, uh, included, is a little uh, 3.5 to 2.5 inch converter. Actually, the hard drive cases or cages in the case that I'm working with are pretty much already have these built in. So I actually won't be needing this, which is pretty nice. A lot of those don't have them. So, um, empty box. And here's the actual solid state. So we'll go ahead and open up this little plastic thing of death, something of death, I don't know, comment below what you think this little plastic thing should be called, it has to have death in the name though. So um, as you can see right here, standard SATA connection is your um, SATA and power. So as you can see, here's the Force GT from Corsair, 120 gigabyte solid state drive, SATA 3, should be very fast. And you know, I'm not going to unbox the second one uh, simply because it's the same exact thing, but I will do a jump cut to where I have both of these together. And here we are with the two solid state drives. Uh, obviously they're very light. If you've ever held a solid state before, they are very light. These do make an interesting noise though. It's a pretty interesting material, but uh, regardless, it's not really the material that matters. It is the drive and the performance. So uh, that's pretty much all there is to it, obviously, in, in that little death thing over there, whatever you guys decide to call it. Uh, there are some screws just so we could screw these into the uh, hard drive cages. So before I ramble any more with just this brief unboxing, let's go ahead and actually install these guys. Alright, so before I jump in this system, um, in case you guys missed it from the live Hackintosh build, this is the case we're working with right now. It's the uh, Fractal Define R3. Uh, pretty decent case. It sort of looks like a little mini fridge from the front. It's always just sort of been my thing. It's just the first thing that popped in my mind. But you have a nice little door here. You have some uh, little push doors if you want to add another fan. There already is one here for uh, cooling the hard drives. So that's always nice. You can have dual fans on the front. Uh, up here, Blu-ray drive. Um, pretty cool things, and yes, this is a Hackintosh system, um, in case you're wondering. So now, uh, here's a quick look at the back, and let's go ahead and get this side door off. So I've already taken the thumb screws out, and this will just come right off. Slide that out, and here we have the inside of the system. So just a quick overview of the hardware we're working with if you missed the live video. We have an Intel Core i7-2700K, uh, so it's a Sandy Bridge system. Uh, as you can see, we are just using the uh, stock CPU cooler. That can always change, though. Not too big of a deal. We're just not going to be doing much overclocking, obviously. Uh, moving over here, we have 16 gigabytes of Vengeance memory, uh, 1600 megahertz DDR3, um, always nice. We have, like I said earlier, the Blu-ray drive up there. Currently, we only have one drive, and it's a 60 gigabyte OCZ Agility 3 solid state. Obviously, we'll be using these two for the uh, other two solid states. We'll uh, be installing just very shortly. Here we have a Gigabyte Radeon HD 6850. Pretty nice card. It's the same card that I use in my system. It is pretty nice. Um, here we just, we just have some extra USB ports coming out the back there. Uh, 750 watt power supply, Corsair power supply, always highly recommended. And because we have a non-modular power supply, there's the spaghetti of cables without sauce, of course. So zooming out, let's go ahead and get these drives ready to install. So located over here, we have all your different hard drive bays. So we're just going to take one out, just like this, and now we're going to take a solid state, and we're going to make sure that the, the port side of the drive is facing the back of the case for, you know, cable management, things like that. So we're going to mount it on the, on the uh, drive bay this way. I rhymed unintentionally. I am awesome. So uh, as you can see, or hopefully, 
we're going to line up those screws right there, those little holes. And now, let's go ahead and screw this guy in. Alrighty, so here we have the first drive as well as the second drive. And so simply all we're going to do is slide these right into their appropriate tracks. So we're going to do one and two. And now, as you can see, all of our drives are in. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this case, do a 180 with it, and then put the cables in, in the, you know, going the other way into the drive, and then plug those into the motherboard. So what I've decided to do is put the two newer Corsair drives up on top here, and then just put the 60 gigabyte OCZ Jody 3 down below. This is just because this is the way I organize my case. My boot drive is always first, and so since this will be the boot drive, um, it just makes sense to put these first, and then just to have this solid state down here. And also I wanted to get some of these cables out of the way so you can uh, sort of see what I'm doing here. So I have two more SATA cables, which are located right here. Hopefully this uh, camera will focus for us. There we go. And so now these are simply just going to plug into, you know, the corresponding SATA ports. So th this is the one that we had in there already from the OCZ Agility 3. So here's this guy, and we're simply going to, hopefully my uh, hand isn't blocking too much of what I'm doing right now, but we're going to plug this into the, the first solid state drive there. And actually, you know what, we're going to do that for the second one, simply because it'll make things easier later. So we're going to plug this into this guy. And this uh, third SATA cable doesn't have that, you know, that 90 degree bend like this one does. So I'm going to put this guy up top. And that will cause, you know, less problems. So now, uh, we'll, just with cable management in mind, we're going to try to make most of these uh, cables, these two ones, uh, cables I just put in here, invisible to the front. Uh, simply just by putting them back here with all the other cables. And then simply just routing a little bit through through here or down here a little bit. Just so we can plug into the motherboard and see no other portion of the cable. So before I finish routing the SATA cables, for three drives you're going to need three power drives. So I have one here, one here, and then one, you can barely see it in frame, right down here. So those are going to go as you would think, you know, one, two, three. Not very complex, so hopefully I can zoom in here a little bit for you guys. Alright, so here's the first power draw. Get this SATA cable out of the way. And we're simply just going to align it up and then apply a little pressure and the first power draw is now in place. And we're just going to do the same thing uh, moving up here. So here's the second power drop going into the second drive. Something like that. And finally up to the third drive. Third power draw. And we should be good to go. So, and um, usually when you do this, you will have a little bit of cable like this that's sort of sticking out. Uh, that's just the nature of them. Usually I try to tuck them back in, maybe I like, kind of invert it so they go in towards like where underneath where the drive is. So I'll try to mess with this a little bit, but for now, just for the purpose of the video, that'll do just fine. Alright, so here we are back in front of the case. So the two hard drives now have their power draws and SATA cables in them. Now we simply have to plug the SATA cables from here into the motherboard. So as I've already done here, actually what I'll do is I'll first I'll zoom in. Alright, so as, as you can see right up here, these gray ports here, those are actually G-SATA. So these blue ones down here are SATA 2, these are SATA 3, and these are G-SATA 3. So from what I've read on, on my, online, my f quick five minutes of research, these are actually will perform faster than G-SATA. This is a Gigabyte motherboard, and I believe what G-SATA is, it's basically a different SATA controller than these. These are Intel, and these are sort of like, you know, Gigabytes, the J-Micron, I believe. So these uh, SATA 3 here will actually perform a little bit faster than these from what I've heard. So right now I have the Blu-ray drive and the 60 gigabyte SATA or solid state plugged into these. And so I'm going to save these SATA 3 ports for uh, the drives up here that I'm going to be putting in a RAID. So simply to plug these in, if you've never done this before, it's very easy. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll plug this one in first. It doesn't matter the order since, you know, they'll be in a RAID. It doesn't really matter. So as you can see, I have the cable here and I'm simply just going to slide it into place. And you didn't really hear a click, but trust me, it is in all the way. And so now we're just going to do the same thing with the second solid state. Alright, so both 120 gigabyte solid states are in place in the SATA 3 connection. And like I said earlier, the 60 gigabyte and the Blu-ray drive are in the G SATA. So that's pretty much all you have to do. So I guess I will reconnect. Oh, and uh, before I do that, as you can see, the cable management, this is exactly what I was going for. The only cable you see from, you know, looking at the case like this, but, you know, fully zoomed out here. But um, the only cable you see is this little bit right here, and that's that's pretty much what you want. I mean, you could, if you really wanted to, be able to have quicker access to your cables. 
you could just throw them in this way and just route the cables, you know, all down through here. But that just looks really messy and, you know, I already have sort of a spaghetti going with uh, the non-modular power supply and, you know, the few cables down here and things. So I like to have this nice clean look, at least with the hard drives. So, but like I said, with a modular power supply, that's pretty much the best you can do. But um, for everything else, I do like to try to wrap things, you know, like this power draw, have it come back around through the back of the case. And I did the same thing as well with these. So that's going to be pretty much it for this video. If you guys want to see me actually set up the RAID using OS X on this Hackintosh, go ahead and watch my next video. Uh, it will be up not too long, and depending on when you're watching this, it could already be uploaded. And if it is, there will be an annotation right here to take you to it. But for that, for now, that's pretty much it. I'm at CPU Kid on Twitter if you have any questions. I'll go ahead and uh, bring this back a little bit. But like I said, I'm at CPUQ on Twitter if you have any questions. And like I said, this is a client's uh, Hackintosh build. If you are interested in me building a machine for you, feel free to email me. My email address is located on my channel page, or you can drop me a line on Twitter or in the YouTube comments down below, and I'll get in touch with you for pricing and things like that. So before I ramble anymore, thank you guys for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video of Setting Up the Raid.